What is up guys? Welcome back to the channel. Today's video, we're gonna keep it short, but I'm gonna show you guys a couple tricks on the 05 to 09s. This also could apply to the 2010s, but a couple hidden features. Now, some of these are pretty simple. Maybe a lot of you guys know about them, but a few of these, maybe you don't. I already saw a few comments on other videos when I was just using these features throughout the vehicle and someone was like, hey, I hadn't seen that before. So first we're gonna start off with traction control. Now, someone said that on theirs, they did not have it. So this is a premium. I don't know if that makes any difference, but traction control, all you do is you click that off and it goes off. That one's a pretty simple one. Now, another feature is on the 05 and 06s, they do not come with an aux, which is extremely deceiving because when I first got this car, I kept clicking it, I'm like, there's no aux cable. Well, down here, you guys probably can't see because it's cluttered with receipts. Got to keep those for tax write-offs. But there's, let's see, uh, you guys can see right there, it is the same exact thing as this guy right here. You can get one of these little Bluetooth adapters. You plug this in, your phone connects to it. I usually like to use the one in the cup or the armrest, just because that way it's not obstructing the view. Um, not that there's really much to see here, but I think it's a lot cleaner of a look. Now, another interesting thing that it took me like a year and a half to figure out, I had no clue that these spun. <laughs> I always thought they were locked up and down. And I always thought it was stupid because I'm like, how do you get air to blow on you? Because you can't really direct the air. So yes, they all spin. Uh, usually my OCD, I like to have them all up and down. That's kind of a little neat feature, but probably the number one cool thing that I like about this is here. We'll turn this on. So I don't know if you guys can see, it is kind of somewhat bright out today, but did you see that? We'll do it again. See how it goes red. So I think this is a premium only feature. It's called the My Color. How to change that? Here, I'll show you guys. So you're gonna go to Setup. See where it says, let's click it one more time. It says My Color. You're gonna click Reset. And that's gonna say a hold reset to adjust My Color. Hold it down. Three, two, one, boom. So now when you go through here, actually we're gonna zoom you guys in. If you click, set up and then you click reset you can go through and you can change these colors to just about any color you guys want it's pretty neat and you can scroll through so we got green yellow orange it's pretty awesome what you can do so i like red um i don't know why but i think that's my favorite and then when you're done all you do oh, come on camera focus hold reset it's gonna give you the countdown boom you are done now another thing this car is equipped with the shaker 500 a lot of people don't know ignore this crack i got it like this if you go we'll turn it on oh you're gonna have to ignore that horrible static you can actually go in here and change the base oh, i can't show that well what you guys saw that so all you do again plug your ears folks you go in here and you just click up and down and you can adjust the base as you need um, with the shaker 500 it's definitely not bad especially for its time it sounds pretty darn good so what else what other cool features do we have in this car my favorite if you made it this far which we're only three minutes in this car is equipped with a hidden feature i'm gonna do a full video on it i'm gonna show you guys you see it right there that thing right right there touch the butt ready what do you guys think it does yeah baby we're on the 40 express now i'll be completely honest i don't even want to know why someone installed that it's kind of weird if i'm being completely honest but i bought the car like that and to be <laughs> to be completely transparent it is very fun to drive around and just do that at people because it, they're so thrown off and no that is not my horn here's my horn and then here's my bell I hope that picks it up on the audio. It's pretty wild. So from the outside of the car, it's really loud. <laughs> it's really loud. So like if uh, during the summer, if I'm driving by like somewhere down, not downtown, but like in a city or someone's next to me and they're jamming out to music, I'll just spam the crap out of it, man. I'll just be like, and everyone looks. So like even on the way home, I'll just, I'll hit that a couple of times just for, just for, you know, giggles and whatnot. But yeah, guys, that's kind of, my my rundown and a few secret oh i almost forgot one i almost forgot one so this is the one that someone said they didn't realize forget ignore my mess right now 
this button, let's flip this over here. Hopefully this works. You guys see this button right here? This is probably the coolest thing besides the my color. If you're driving, you click this button. You, if you have an automatic only, this will put it into, um, it'll remove overdrive. So that means that instead of being into fifth gear or going into fifth gear, you're gonna then stay in fourth. So this just allows you to get a little bit better throttle response. Um, really only from like 45 miles per hour and higher will it make a difference anything lower than that you're probably going to be in third or fourth gear anyways but this definitely made the car feel more peppy uh i'm not gonna lie because these cars are pretty torquey so once you're around like the 22 to 2500 mark on these cars that seems to be the sweet spot at least in my opinion so clicking that on and then you know if you're on a road that's going 45 just tap that you're going to be right in the perfect rpm because i think these cars came with like it's gotta be like a 331 or a 273 gear. So that does liven it up quite a bit. But yeah, guys, that's all I could think of off the rip. I'm sure there's some other cool features that I'm totally just blanking on and missing on. But nonetheless, I appreciate if you guys made it this far, be sure to drop a like and subscribe. Another cool thing, we did close on our house. So it's official, it's done. So what does that mean for the channel? That means we can have some more stuff coming for the car. I know it's been a long time since I've, I don't even know if I've really done any installs on this channel yet. So, and springs here. So we're gonna throw the sport lines on. I think that's gonna change the look of this car and also the ride because there's this weird clunking coming from the front right. So I don't know if something's loose up there. So it gives me an excuse just to dive in and do it. But yeah, guys, thank you so much. Keep an eye out for Wednesday's video. I'm gonna have another good one on the good old trusty 4.0. And yeah, guys, you have a great night. I'll catch you in the next one. Later, fam.